Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and I want to talk to you about the Google Plus platform shutting down. It will shut down on April 2, 2019. Now, this does not refer to any other Google products, such as Google Photos, Gmail, Google Calendar. Those are not affected. So it's only if you used Google Plus. So did you use it? If not, then this doesn't concern you. If yes, or you're not sure, you should download your content. It's very easy with Takeout, Google Takeout, and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So my, I'm going to do a demo. I'm going to take you to takeout.google.com and show you how to select just the Google Plus products and get a download of all of your content that was ever put on Google+. It will come to you in a package in an email. You download it, then you unzip it and browse through it. Let me show you how. So first of all, what is Google+. Plus? You know, maybe you're saying, well, I don't know if I ever used it. What is it? You would get to it with plus.google.com. And here it is. It might look a little familiar. Think of it as Google's competitor to Facebook. Here is a news feed of things that the people I follow have posted. If I click on profile, I will see my information and here is everything I ever posted. So to download all your content, step one, go to Google Takeout. Just takeout google.com and make sure you are logged in with your account if you're not logged in at all it will prompt you to do so this will allow you to download your content from any of Google products look at all of these we don't want that so step one is to deselect all then scroll down till you see just the Google Plus content and the plus ones where people have liked your stuff, your circles of people, your communities, and most of all, your Google posts, collections, and other content. So we have just four items checked. Scroll down to the bottom and next step. Archive format, delivery method. I want it sent to me via email. You do have choices. If you want to add it to a online storage, you can. I want it sent to me on email, so I'll just save it on my computer. It will be a zip file. Archive size 2 gigabytes means if it's more than 2 gigabytes, you'll have multiple files. Create archive. And now you just wait until you get an email. Here's what the email will look like. Your Google Data Archive is ready. So I just want to download this to my computer. Click Download Archive. And it wants to know where I want to put this. I'm just going to put it under my account, I mean my folder and documents. And I will make a new folder called Google Plus Takeout. And that is where I want this zip file saved. So once it's saved, I go to the folder where I put it, Google Plus Takeout, and it's a zip file. This is on a Windows machine. You right click and extract all. And that'll take a minute. Once you have your archive downloaded and extracted, there's two ways to browse around. Drill down and you will see this index.html. If you open that, you have a Google Plus stream that you can click on and then this has it organized a little bit. Or if that doesn't work for you, you can just drill down into the folders, open individual folders, and keep going until you see uh, some content to, to display. I actually think this is a 
total mess. I have a hard time making heads or tails out of it, but I feel good that I have done the process suggested by Google and used Takeout to download all of my Google Plus content before the service shuts down.